Hi guys, welcome to another video. I've got a media, uh, a Huawei MediaPad T3. Uh, the model number is a KOBL09, and it has no power, and uh, you can see why. The actual socket is completely battered. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. You can see that now very clearly. So, what we need to do first of all is remove the glass. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. First, you can use a heat gun. Uh, I have got one of those, I'm not going to use that. I've got a hairdryer, I've got one of those as well, and I ain't going to use that. But I've got this heat pad, uh, which at the moment is at optimum temperature. Well, I mean, I've set it to 80 degrees, and that's enough for me to bond heat, uh, sort of debond the, the bonding that's around the edge, and that will come, that will be done because it's so hot, and that will soften up the glue, and then we'll slowly prise out the screen. I might attempt to pull it out i don't know i want to get behind it first of all uh, there is a few places where i can get a tool under there's a bit of a gap just there which i can get in there so i'm gonna give that a go i'm just gonna put that down for now give it a few minutes and then uh, see how we get on all right guys let's crack on that should be uh, warm enough wow actually it's uh it's cooking nicely let's switch that off and uh, there's a little piece just there we'll get into. I'm using a little metal tool here. I'd recommend you use plastic, which I'm about to in a moment. I'm just using this to get in there. Okay, and you can see that's gone in quite nicely. Kind of hear the bonding breaking down. This machine's actually got, it's got quite a few cracks and bumps and bruises all over the place. It's not the best condition. You can hear that just breaking up there. I'm doing this fairly quickly because I don't want it to soften up. I think we'll get the plastic one in there now. More alcohol. You need alcohol to break down the glue. But if you're using a hot air gun, uh, I would do bit by bit, make sure it's not too hot. We don't want it to crack the internal screen. Okay, right now, this is good actually. It's pretty straightforward, it just clips out. So we don't need to actually, I haven't done one of these for ages, we don't need to um, get rid of the screen. We don't need to take the screen off, uh, as in, we don't need to debond it. It just pops out, which I wasn't aware of, just because I haven't done one of these for a long time. So anyway, the screen's off. There's a couple of screws. One just there. Let's have a look if you can see that a bit clearer now. Get myself a tray to keep everything nice and neat. I would recommend uh, taking pictures as you're going along or make a template that will save you from losing any screws that sort of stuff um, all right the screen's off we haven't damaged it as you can see it's got a frame uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward that was to move this heat pad out of the way it's still going to keep frying now the device is dead, um, so we can't test um, anything. So we need to get to this board out completely to get to that. Um, so we need to take the screws off, take this aux lead off uh, for the for the Wi-Fi. Uh, the speaker is soldered on. Or we can either take it off, desolder it, or we can uh, lift it out. Uh, sorry, that's the, the vibra motor. We can um, lift it out. Um, I'll just desolder it, I'll just desolder it, it'd be easier. So there's a number of screws you have to remove. They're all the same size, I think. Okay, there's one there, one over here. Put 
my soldering iron on while I'm doing that. So it's more involved than you think. I'm going to take all this out here actually. It's quite a bit to remove. I've done ones that are a lot easier. I mean, ones are easier, but there's less things to take out. Um, because we need to get underneath the board. Let me get my spudger tool. Just to remove the, the flexes. Open the doors for the flexes, pull them out, show the camera one there, that will come out in a bit. So we need to get underneath. I don't know if we need to take the whole thing out, I don't think we do, we should be okay. There's another screw underneath here, I think. Should be able to just slide that out. We don't need to take the whole lot off. Okay, well, I'll take it off anyway, get it out of the way. Now, is this bonded underneath? It just seems like this, it's stuck down. Um, let's move the battery one, which is the main one we need to get rid of. Speaker wires off. What I didn't uh, do was to take off the, the tray uh, for the memory card. I need to get a little pin in to get in there. In the desk, bear with me. If you don't get the sim tray out, that's why I always tell people, watch the whole video. This should be come out right at the beginning because what you could actually do is if you try to attempt, if you attempt to take the board out while that's in there, you could damage the holder. And no, we don't want to do that, do we? No. There is a... Just get rid of this foil that's here, this copper tape. Move that out of the way. If we can, just like so. Otherwise, the camera will not come off. The camera flex. Just there. Uh, okay, that's that done. This should allow us to remove this. Pretty easy. There's a bit more foil, copper copper foil around here. Just move that out of the way. Probably to do with some earthing or something or cooling or something. I don't know. Okay. There you go. So we remove that. Now we will hot air off the USB port. So let's put my uh, hot air station on. Let's have a look what we've got. There's not much around there, so we should be quite an easy one. I'll just switch over to my microscope. Okay, so as you can see, I've put it over the edge of the table. Um, I can actually heat it up from the top or from the bottom, but what we do today, we'll just do it from the, from the top. And uh, I'll use a bit of a solder pump as well, just to... You can see that on there, can you see it on the microscope? Yes, we can. So 
right, let's just turn that down slightly. Right guys, now that the uh, the socket uh, has been put on, uh, what we're going to do before I put it back together, I want to make sure that uh, we're getting uh, the right voltage coming out of it. So let's put that there. Let's put the charger in. And let's put the voltage in the correct range. And hopefully we should get coming out of it. Oops, I'm in the wrong uh, There you go, five volts. Uh, oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? Uh, I don't know why I've... Should have zoomed out a bit more, but there you go. Okay, so I've got the black probe on the negative and hit the positive pin five volts so i'm happy that that uh, is successful we did go around uh, the long way uh, because i did solder it initially and then use hot air to get all the, the solder the legs uh, soldered in correctly unfortunately that didn't do what i wanted it to do and dropped off you know, the the leg so we have to do it again but it's not a problem but let's just Let's just put the board in now. Get my soldering iron on because I want to to make sure that it's optimum heat for me to get the speaker, the, the vibration motor wires in. Make sure that flexes uh, don't get Okay, 
the way and 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 Right, so I'm going to start with the search, I'm going to start with All right, so that's all put, put back together now. Let's just see if uh, the display comes on. It should do. I can hear a vibration. And as you can see, we have now got the sign for the charging. So thank you for watching. Um, see you on the next one.